Welcome to the next video in the Forms 7 jQuery plugin tutorial. Uh, in the previous video I showed you how to initialize Form 7 and how to create your very first form. Uh, in this video I'm going to show you how to use select boxes in a Form 7 form as well as load that select box with data from a SharePoint list. So here we have the form from the last video with just two fields on it, title and email. What we're going to do is we're going to add a select box to this form and we're going to load that select box with the values from our states list here on our SharePoint site. So you see we have a list called states and we have three states in that list, Arkansas, Alabama, and Texas. They're all part of the title field. So the first thing let's do, let's get that select box on the form. So we're going to open up our script in SharePoint Designer. And we are just going to go into the markup and we are going to add a state select box. So you see here it's got a label of state. It's a select with an ID of state select. So let's save that. And then if we reload our form, you can see that we do have our state select box, but it is empty. So now we need to load it with a list of states. To do that, we have a helper function in Form 7 that is called load form 7 load ddl. So let's put this in our jQuery ready right after we initialize form 7 and what we're going to do is off of our state select which is the ID of our select box for the state we're going to execute the method form 7 load ddl load drop down list. We pass to it the list name which is states that's our SharePoint list that has the values uh, the first option text. This is what do you want the first option to state. This is what we're going to say select state. Uh, the field name that we're getting for the values is title in our list. This could be uh, another field if you want, but we're just going to use title. And then there's a complete function that gets executed after the, uh, the drop down list is loaded. And we're just going to pop up a message saying that select was loaded. Alright, so let's just go ahead and save that. Go back to our form. Now when we refresh the page, we get an alert saying the select was loaded, and you can see that it is indeed loaded with our states, Alabama, Arkansas, and Texas. And if we save something in here, so let's create another test entry, we'll call it test state, test at state.com, and we will select Arkansas for the state, hit submit, it tells us the say was successful, it reloads the page, select loaded, and you can see here in our form set of data field it did add state select to that data field. So that's how you load a drop down list using Form 7. Pretty easy, just that quick little helper function and you're going. Uh, Form 7 also has the ability to do cascading drop down lists. So let's say after you select the state, you also then want it to populate a drop down list with a list of cities. So here we have another SharePoint list called cities. Um, the title of that field is the name of the city and then there's another field called state which is a lookup back to our states list so it tells us which state that city belongs to. Now using Form 7 you can automatically create a child drop down list for when someone selects the state. So let's go do that real quick. Going back into our form in SharePoint Designer and we're going to add another drop down list. This one is this, we're giving it the label city with the ID of city select. So we have a state select that's state select and a city select that we give the ID of city select. Now the load DDL function has some additional parameters you can use to have so it automatically loads that child for you. So let's go ahead and put that in there so you can see what that looks like. So here is our load DDL function where we pass in our list name, first option, field name, same things you saw before, but now you see a list of child parameters. And these child parameters are used to load that child list. Uh, we're passing into it the ID of our select field, that city select, which is again this ID here, so it knows well which drop down list am I going to be loading the cities in. Uh, we're also passing to it the list in SharePoint that has the list of cities, which is the list called cities. We need to tell it which field in that child list am I using to filter by. You know, so and that is our state field. So when they select Arkansas, it says, "Well, give me all of those all those entries in the cities list that have the state Arkansas." And again, which field are we pulling? We're pulling the title field. That's the name of our cities. 
the first option text for that. So we can also say, well, the drop down list, the first options are going to say, please select city. And again, we've got a complete function for the child as well. So whenever the child is loaded, it's going to alert saying the child select was loaded. All right, so all we had to do was add a select for the cities and then those, add those additional parameters to the load DDL so that it will know what to load in that child select. So let's save that. Come back to our form, reload the page. It tells us the parent select was loaded. You can see our empty city list here. So let's go ahead and choose Alabama. It says the child selects loaded and now that city has a list of all of the cities for Alabama. We come back here and choose Texas. It tells us the child select was loaded and we can go through and choose our cities for Texas. So let's update that test state entry that we have and let's put in Texas and Dallas and let's submit the form. So it tells us the save was successful again for ID5 because it updated our existing one. The page is going to reload here, parent reload, and you can see it's got Texas and Dallas. So it reloaded those fields for us too and the form loaded. And we come and look at the field. We see that it's got the state select of Texas and the city select of Dallas. So it is updating that form 7 data field for us. Now let's say that for some reason you need to load several uh, child lists. Maybe you don't need to just load Texas. Maybe you want to load or you don't need to load just the cities for Texas. You also want to load the counties for Texas or, or the area codes for Texas or something, but you have multiple children you want to load. Uh, well, you can actually call the functionality to load the child DLL totally separate. Um, and uh, Let me show you how to do that in Form 7 real quickly. So let's go back to our form and let's get rid of this child functionality because we will not be using it to load the children. So we're still loading the, the parent the same way using the load 7 DDL, but now we're going to have a function that is responsible for loading the child DDL. So here we have one called load cities where you pass in the ID for that state select field. Um, and, and you can see here that we're calling a form 7 function called load child DDL. This is actually the same function that the form 7 load DDL calls if you give it children parameters. But by allowing you to call yourself, you could actually make this call a few times and load several children DDL drop down lists if you wanted to. So the parameters are very similar for this load child DDL. You pass into it uh, the parent ID. This is the ID from your parent list. You didn't have to pass that before uh, when you use this because Form 7 takes care of knowing which ID to pass in. You tell it which field is, from, is uh, for the parent, which again from our cities field is that state field. If we look at uh, the cities list again, you see that parent field is called state. Uh, you pass in the list name, cities, again the first option text, the field name you want to load, and then our alert. So now we have this function called load cities. The last thing we need to do here that we did not have to do before is we need to attach an event to our, our parent select so that it can be triggered to load those cities. So what we're doing is we're adding an on change event to our state drop-down list that calls in, that calls the function load cities and passes to it the value of the selected state. Uh, this little piece of code is done for you automatically whenever you put the child information into your load DDL. So if you want to use the load child DDL function, you're going to have to add this yourself. You're going to have to tell it when to load those cities. And we want it to load those cities when a state is selected. Make sense? So let's go ahead and save this real quick. And let's reload our form. It's going to look exactly the same because it's the same function just called a different way. We pass in Alabama, child select loaded, and there's the cities for Alabama. So there's a different way to load those, that child list in case you wanted to load uh, additional children or execute additional functionality or do whatever you wanted to do. So in a nutshell, that is how you do drop down lists, selects, in Form 7. Uh, keep an eye out for the next video where I'll show you guys how to do something like maybe radio buttons or checkboxes or something like that. Uh, good luck, and thanks for coming.